Hey traders, this is T Bradley 90 from the My Investing Club chat. I'm one of the top mentors and moderators in chat. As a special gift to our viewers on YouTube, we have created a free two hour course to help teach you how to start a consistently profitable trading business and identify high paying setups in just 30 days. There will be limited seating every week, so register for the course and reserve your spot now using the link in the description. As a special bonus for everyone that watches the entire video, we will give you the link to a free 10 hour additional mini course that has never been released to the public. Register now before all slots completely fill up. All right, just to kick it off with a further explanation. Thank you, Alex, for that update. This is week 20 of my new Q&A. Um, week 20, let's get into this thing. Uh, if anybody has some questions to start off, please send them my way right here in the new member channel. If you are not a member, then you're just going to have to sign up and then come in the new member channel and ask your questions. But, <laughs> oh yeah. Thank you, Joe. Uh, but let's let's kick this off. So anybody have any questions for me right now, or I can just get into what was running today and yesterday and talk about. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother! I'll talk about why I was a I was basically such a FOMO monster on on PTI and why I can uh, why I just scalp 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 this all day. But let's get, let's get some questions in here before I tear down my trade. <clears throat> Who got some questions? Who got some questions? Where is where in the MIC website can I find videos specifically for low hand? Bro, we got a search filter on that. Check this. Guys, I'm going to introduce you. I don't even need to show you directly where the low hangers are anymore. I'm going to show you a search filter. I probably should have showed you this before. Boom. Low hanger. Oh, low hangers. I probably need an S in there. Whoops. <laughs> Low hangers. Son of a, what am I doing wrong? <laughs> well, it usually works. <laughs> uh, we do have a, Alex, what am I doing wrong? A low hanging fruit, low hanging fruit. That's right. I need the, I need the full, I need the full. No lingo. Low hanging fruit. Check this out. There's all your low hangers, my man. We have a search filter, but make sure you are typing it in exactly as what the term is. So if it's a death line strategy, type that full thing in. Low hanging fruit right here. You don't try to do lingo and, and get all street hood on, on our search filter with the low bangers. Uh, hey, did you post the last week's video? I want to watch it. It was super good. Thanks, buddy. Uh, yeah, I think we did, Alex. We did, right? I definitely, uh, I definitely got it. I think we did. Yeah, we did. We did. I remember we posted it. Have we yet to announce it to the public? I'm not exactly sure, but it. But it is posted, and if, it, if it's not already up, it'll be up soon. Yeah, man. Low bangers. <laughs> uh, what's a way to ask a mod a question? DM on chat or email or Twitter? No, guys, stay away from our social media. Look, here's the thing. If you guys are already a member, there's no reason why you need to contact our social media. Just do it in chat. You can, so here's the thing, Matthew. So if you want to click on me, like say I want to send um, – Say I want to send Mario something right now. All you do is click and then message and then boom. Now I'm in a uh, chat with Mario, right? So that's how to, you can DM us any, any time or we also, um, mod, you know, where's our, um, let's see. Yeah, just DM us. I mean, you can tag us at any point in after hours or anything like that or like um, questions in any of these. But, you know, don't ask us in the main chat. Just DM us. Yeah, just DM us. There's no problem. <laughs> Last week was fire. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. All right. So does anybody have any questions about today? Like yesterday, TCCO, you know, what we're looking for today, uh, PTI or CEI, you know, what, like what's kind of the, you know, what we're looking for today or just, you know, I can just start ranting, whatever you guys want to do. We got a lot of people in here today. I'm sure there are some questions. Who got some questions for me? Who wants to talk the Fast and the Furious franchise? All right, you said TCCO was restricted today. Uh, what does that mean? Unfortunately, just really rarely, um, only when a stock runs crazy and this ends a lot of accounts, um, the clearing firm that is Wedbush, that is at Cobra, just restricts them so it's, it's untradeable, but it's very rare. So that's why I'm saying, guys, like 
every now and then, yeah, you're not going to be able to trade like one stock, but it doesn't matter. Cobra is still the number one best. Um, Alex and I were unable, unfortunately, to get shares of this today, which we would have probably definitely hit this pop, this relief pop in the morning, because here's what happens. So check this. Let me talk about this for a second. And let me actually expand upon this. Let me make it bigger. Uh, where are we? TCCO. Yo. So here's, here's the thing. So our plan, I, I drew these lines last night because that was my ideal plan to scale, right? So I drew this last night before going to bed. Of course, you know, based, based on the fact, oh, see you, buddy. Uh, based on the fact that, you know, I was not necessarily um, anticipating a gap down or, or, or a gap up and my plan would have changed in the morning. So here's what happened. So because that was drawn last night, that was my original plan. But because it changed this morning, we got a gap down. See this? There was further, it's not a huge gap down, but what it is, is there was further bleed, which shows me that there's a lot of people stuck from this level. So literally, you got to think about this. People are stuck. Anybody who longed is stuck. This is all stuck. Look at this. I'm, I'm going to draw it out. I'm going to make this as identifiable as possible for you guys. Every single long from day one or today who longed anything above this line by the time this opens is underwater. What does this mean? They are bag holders. They are going to want out. So because this did not gap up, which I would have done outer lines on a gap up probably around here, like nine or 10, uh, or probably like actually like nine twenties. Like I like tops, right? So like, this is what I would have focused on. I would have focused on like right here to right here. I would have scaled small, scaled small. And then if it really would start tanking, adding into a winning position, but because this gap down and it's opening down here, I'm never going to get this line. Like, I, I mean, if I do, it's, it's an anomaly, right? Like you're, I'm never going to get this line. So I am willing to hit near any of the after hours room. So when this jumps, let's go live. When this jumps and does a relief pop into here, anything basically, I want to say, I like the middle of the um, after hours and kind of pre-market levels. I wanted a jump from about, what was it? 708 up to about probably about $8 because that's the line for me. And it did, it went my skill zone. So again, the more beaten down a stock it is, um, in my opinion, you know, a lot of the times the less it pops. So when we got this little relief pop here, Tom Diesel nailed it. Like, dude, this is what you want. If you had the shares, man, me and me and Alex were like, shit, dude. And the fact that this kept breaking down, even Alex said, you know, real time, like you can go back in our main chat. Every pop was a short after these immediate, like just, it, it just can't even break through VWAP, man. Again, fail again, 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 every pop was a short. So we were super bummed. We didn't have locates on this today, unfortunately. But uh, this was a great setup, man. So again, depending on the gap, uh, if it would have, say it would have gapped up right here, you know, and it would have opened up around here today, that's a different story, man. People are gapping up. There's a lot less people uh, who are underwater based on the gap. I want to scale outer lines, but because this thing is just bleeding, I can kind of hit inner lines a little bit. You know what I mean? I'm always a... Um, I'm always an advocate for much, much outer lines, but this was just an A plus setup in my opinion for a day two low hanger. And it gave you the relief pop that you are wanting. Uh, yeah. So that's, that's kind of my rant on TCCO today. Uh, missed it, but again, you're not going to catch every move that the market has. That's okay. But if, if, and let me talk about this for a second. If you are a trader who misses because you don't have a locate on TCCO today and you go, Oh shit, I got to scratch the itch and I got to go to CEI and I got to throw the boat in because man, I just, I got to trade something today and you short and add and add and add, you're dead. I didn't touch this once today. I didn't even, I didn't even try to locate this. I didn't want it. I don't like, uh, I think this is an energy sector. I don't like um, energy. I don't like commodities. And specifically, this, I don't like this. So let me talk about this for a second. CEI, when people were asking me, I had a couple people DM me and ask me, Tosh, is this a outer line on, you know, CEI, something like this, right? Like here, and in fact, I can give a little bit more room, but why didn't you scale the outer line, which actually technically would have worked for a scalp. But here's the point. If you are just looking at this in the morning, you see a stock that's up, right? You see a stock that's up and it's breaching outer line. So if you see this line, you're going to think, yeah, man, let me scale on this and let me hold, right? Like it's, it's totally like almost double top rejected pre-market highs, blah, blah, blah. You are not looking at the bigger picture. I never, never, never 
short and hold, or let alone usually even play stocks that are literally up four days. This is a technically, as much as this was not on people's radar yesterday, guys, you've got to understand this is a multi-day runner technically. The day one, which was yesterday, while it was quiet, while it was accumulating, some maybe an algorithm was getting this up. I don't know. Someone was accumulating. This thing is 100% in intact with trend. Look at this. So by the time it gets up here, there's a lot of people who are still green on their money. I don't want these outer lines. I don't want anything until I screamed in chat when I saw this. And everybody who knows me knows that. Like I literally said this real time. The only time I would have gotten this stock, and you can see it, is when this big daddy happened right here. And then I wanted to scale this pop. I literally was like screaming, like, someone find me shares just so I can get a relief play right here. So what I would have done had I had shares, I would have scaled up into the half, I would have scaled up into this point and then covered this because it's still completely front side, tried to cover as, you know, I'm hooroing right now, but if I would have got most of everything off here, that's, that's just, if front side require, front side shorting requires front side covers, but that was the only move I was looking for in this. If a stock is pure front side and specifically over days, the number one thing I'm waiting for is a huge freaking reject. And then I just wanted a little scalp out of it and specifically only a scalp because this thing is up for days. I would not have held this under VWAP and let this go. This is a nail and bail setup, but I could have gotten at least something that was very predictable and identifiable, um, usually is. Uh, but again, guys, if you're, if you're looking at this, you are blind. You have to pull back. You gotta put, this is why, this is why this is what, what am I main, look at it, look at what I keep in my, in my time frames, and this is it. Actually, I don't even know why the fuck a one day, one minute's in there, I've never used that. This is what I look at. I use a five day, three minute. I use a five day, 15 minute, just to see like for like crazy trends. Like as you can see on the 15 minute chart, how bullish that looks. And then I look at a five, five year, one day. So I can scroll in as much as I want and see like how unbelievably beaten down a stock is. But, but the, the, the concept here is you need to see what yesterday was and the day before always, 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 always. If you're looking at this, you're fucking blind. Um, okay, let, uh, sorry, I ranted a little longer than I wanted to. Um, CEI, will you hop in this with a waterfall candle through? You know what? I would. I would if it was a huge pull down here, but again, it would be a nail and bail. And so say, you know, say we get a waterfall. Say this thing broke down here. Say it broke down like here, right? Like we got a massive pull. I would scale probably, yes, I would scale probably 213 to 230, get a nail and bail setup. But again, I'm not holding this for a fade because of all of this. All of this. I don't want to fight this. I don't want to fight that. Make sense? Good. Let's move on. Uh, what does that mean? CI right. Oh, uh, what was your thoughts on CEI right? Oh, well, I kind of just answered that. Sorry, Mize. I didn't see that before. I would have answered that specifically. But that was basically my thoughts. So I just gave you guys kind of like the whole picture and that I, I basically was thinking that the entire time. So even if I had locates on this, I would not have hit this until this. None of this intrigues me. Not even this. This nothing. This is too strong. And it's a, and it's a sector play. It's energy. Um, I had a question about Tuesday on OBSB. Uh, if I can remember, yeah, what's, what's your question, pal? Just got later, bro. Uh, OBSB, according to the watch list on Tuesday, the entry lines were a lot higher, but price never hit those lines. How do you decide to enter OBSD online that was not originally part of your plan? Okay, I can talk about this for a second. Oh, awesome. Yeah, yeah, me and Alex covered this. So guys, let me make this very clear. Me and Alex, actually, Alex and I are doing a new series every once a month for lifetime members specifically. So if you upgrade, you are gonna get access to this. So Alex and I put together a trader clinic series and we did it last night and we actually talked about this exact same thing. Thank you, Brandon. Um, I'm glad you enjoyed it, buddy. We'll do these once a month, maybe a little bit more if we have time. But again, guys, we, we have so much to do during the day for MIC and our members and back end stuff that you guys don't see. Uh, it's hard to squeeze the time to a new series, but we do this once a month. It's exclusive for lifetime members. And we talked all about this last night. So here was the low hanger strategy for OB, OBSB, right? When you have, this was a perfect, this was a perfect candidate for um, day two. And I won't get too crazy in this as we talked about last night, but um, when you have a stock that is so beaten down, bro, this is day one. 
everybody and their mother who long this stock is underwater. I'm looking usually for a little pop up to here. The fact that we got this gift pre-market, are you kidding me? I wanted to scale this in pre-market, but unfortunately I stick to my rules no matter how much I'm tempted. I never trade pre-market no matter what the situation is. Um, and I didn't do this, but I wanted to see topping action and we got it. So even people who were short or who were um, uh, longing this pre-market on yesterday got smoked pre-market by the time it opened, it opened out very far from its highs. So not only, not coupling factors, right? Coupling factors. Not only is it a perfect day to play because day one is so beaten down, it's a huge relief pop so these guys can get out even. That's check two. Check three is it's already breaking and showing down that this is so unbelievably weak from even the pre-market gap. So what did Alex and I do? We Well, Alex did took a little pre-market, I did not. Dow took a little pre-market, I did not. But I hit and top ticked this and unfortunately hiked the hell out of it. Like I think like, where was it, 340s or something? But the point is, is that's what we are looking for. We are looking for stocks that are super weak with relief pops, things like that. Um, you could have hit today, but again, I don't like day three. Wait, Alex, is CEI breaking down? Oh yeah, it's closed, man, look at that. It's teetering, dude. This is like, if we get the huge pull, man, I may be, uh, I may be uh, you know, jumping off my balcony because I have no shares, but what are you gonna do? <laughs> Nail and bail, guys, look at the time of day. Look at the time of day. Nail and bail. All right, next question. Where are we at, where are we at? Oh, and also, yeah, yeah, check out Austin's video. He talks a lot about this too, which is great. Uh, I noticed that a lot of MIC content is for short biased people, daily watch lists, et cetera. What about us with counts who obviously can't short? Uh, bro, I have no idea how to pronounce your name, and I'm sorry if I'm butchering this, but Osuma Lem, that is a great question. We are not a short biased room. Let me make this clear for anybody who is listening in on this webinar and is not a member. We are a 100% equally Switzerland, you know, we are non-neutral, man. We're, we're neutral. Like we are 100% long biased as we are short biased. It's just that a lot of the mentors or moderators talk in a language that may seem to the untrained eye that it is tailored for the short side. But what you have to do is reverse engineer. This is why we go so into detail what we are looking for on the short side a lot of the time because you guys can 100% reverse engineer that for the long side. And we do it that way because yes, a couple of us like myself and Alex are a little bit more short biased in our own game plan. But the way we talk is like, dude, if we're not shorting this, you should be taking advantage long. We t Oh, is it down? Dude, what? Hold up, hold up. There it is. There it is. I don't like, that's not big enough for me to enter. I need that twice as big, so that's not big enough for me. I think this could still trap because, again, the trend is completely in form. Uh, but here's the thing. Uh, I would not scale this. This is not my bread and butter. Yep, under 230. I completely agree with Alex. I wanted this to go. You see? See, it's already trapping. Um, I wanted this to be a lot bigger. That is not big enough for me to chase a death candle. That's not a death candle to me. That's, a, that's, just, that's just a trickle down through VWAP. That is not a slam. A slam would have been under 230, maybe around the 220s area, so you guys can get kind of familiar with this. Um, again, you know, this could continually break down from here, but I feel like I'd be guessing, and I feel like I'm out of my element because of all this strength and the fact that it's a sector play. So this is not my niche. It's not my bread and butter unless it really, really puts longs in like a death sentence kind of bind. You will feel long screaming. I'm not feeling them screaming right here. I'm feeling a trickle down. This could, this could trap back up. If it went under 220, longs are smoke. Longs are smoke. So under 230 is a confirmation. We'll draw a line. Let's see if we can get some uh, lower highs under 230. Here, I'll keep this over for you guys. Actually, I have it on the small. So watch that. Yep, we'll watch that. But that's not something I'd go into. Not enough. Not, not weak enough. Okay, uh, where were we? Yeah, yeah. So, dude, if, you, if you're a trader who's like, man, should I join MIC? They talk a lot on the short side. Guys, we not only have long strategies, we're going to show you how to do those, those long strategies, and we're going to show you things like zombie rules. And, like, when, you know, this is an indicator. So I have this on my charts that you guys, we can give you this template if you guys want this. This literally inputs on my chart immediately at 1030, 
Eastern Standard Time, and then things usually zombie. Uh, I only have it on this one, though. Uh, but again, this is just an indicator that we can put in for you guys. It's called the Zombie Hour Indicator line that, we, that a member created for us, which is so sick. So uh, DM Joe Kelly if you want that, as I think he has them. I can't remember how he even got this. I think Joe has all that data. Uh, let's see you break down, baby. Uh, but this, this could be a low hanger for tomorrow. So if this really breaks down, I'd love to see this near like 180 for tomorrow for a breakdown uh, into continuation play. Um, let's see. For those who cannot find the trend on TOS, you can use the regression line from point A to point B. It will show you the trend the stock is in. Gosh, maybe you should, I have no idea what you're talking about, buddy. Uh, you can show the regression line. Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, regression regression line. What is this? Oh, okay. I mean, yeah, you guys can do things like that, I guess. Like, I mean, I just keep it simple. I just draw mine. Like, I literally just, I just use this line, you know? You can literally just set this anywhere you want with two points. That's up to you, though. The cool part about TOS, guys, is it has just every kind of indicator, every kind of, like, way to kind of, like, maneuver around your charts possible. Yeah. Regression line. Nice. I just saw it. Right there. If you guys want to use that. I just like the standard trend line that I just draw myself. Um, glad you like the Trader Clinic. Did you see AI so close? Reverse zombie time going. Yes. So guys, again, like, are we a long bias room as well? Hell yeah, dude. We like to wrap up our trading by 1030. Look at 1030. 1030 every single day. If you, let me, let me really zoom in this. Hold on one second. Let me pull this up. Let me really show you guys. Oh, zombie indicator is on here. Perfect. If you guys pay attention to the zombie, zombie indicator every single day, this is a time, in my opinion, and we, you know, had a, we have a lot of traders making a lot of money every day, man, waiting for the first hour to close. They get it on a dip, and then this thing rockets back on little volume and creates a huge demand of volume. So, again, guys, like, dude, we are not just a short buy of room, man. I can promise you. Sometimes just closing your eyes and going long during zombie hours work. Bro, I swear to God, Alex, do you know how convinced I am that these days we just load the boat and four stocks at zombie time and then just cut the one that doesn't work? <laughs> I, that is not investment advice, and I'm telling you guys to not do that. But the whole point and the funny part of this conversation is everything tends to go up during zombie time on the dot. And even if it breaks down near zombie time, it usually goes back up. Like, dude, zombie hour is insane. And when we do that, the entire small cap market will halt and we'll lose. Yeah, yeah. Me and Alex, dude, we we long the boat on four small caps at once. They all T12 because Joe even, you know, <laughs> and somehow Joe was a part of this too. <laughs> oh, shit. You guys are so fun, man. I love these fucking webinars, dude. I have so much fun with you guys. Um, What else? What else? What else? So let's talk about some more. So uh, PTI, this was a great one to talk about. I love this. So, um... There was not much to talk about on MYSZ guys today, except this. I'll just mention it, just what happened. Um, if you were scaling this, the, you know, the stock really stalled out. It hit inner lines, you know. This cratered down, and then a very famous pumper, um, I think he uh, plants eggplants for a living, got in this and ripped it up to outer lines. And if you were patient and waiting for your outer lines, which, again, this is not rocket science. If you drew a line where the top was, and what do I say every single week of my webinars, I don't draw my outer lines on the wicks. I draw them at the base of the candles. You literally could have had orders right here every single week I talk about this. So if you follow my strategy, or at least what I like to um, implement daily, boosh you know? And again, see how this is still just kind of consolidating? <laughs> plants egg, plants <laughs> and then does something to them nasty but whatever uh all right let's uh where are we where are we 230 line still holding yep it's still above it again this was not enough weakness for me to get excited uh miami they got some nude beaches in miami show off that little shrimp uh no eggplants there let's see what else oh pti let's talk about this so PTI was up today. I traded this all day today. I actually made money on every single trade, but I was very, very, very much um, just scalping. Um, shit, I should have saved my chart on this one. 
Um, it was, it, it was so simple guy. I mean, just what I did, it was so, it was kind of dumb. In fact, I was actually kind of just like coin flipping a little bit, but here's what I waited for. I mean, I literally saw a stall out the open. So I think I hit right here, covered a little bit right here. Um, wait, let's see. Oh, yep. Now I'm excited. Now I'd be excited. That's awesome. Now we have some real weakness. That, oh, let me pull it up on the main. That's some real weakness. That is what I like to look for. That's so, oops, sorry. I don't have a mouse pad under this mouse, so it's kind of jerking itself. Now we got some blood in the water. And notice how Alex talks about it's dumping around reverse zombie times and it broke 230. Guys, again, if you know our strategies, what are they? It, at um, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, stocks like to stop breaking out and start breaking down. It's called reverse zombie time. So any one of these like little kind of lower highs, you honestly could have entered in with tight wrist, you know, above, you know, obviously always high of day at the, at the maximum. But, you know, up here you could have risked and you would have won. You would have won. Like that was, that's sick. That's, that's MIC right there. It took us years to create these rules. These are, dude, these are our rules right here. Where's the price time level? Uh, right here, guys. Look at these two lines. Look at these two lines. If you are a short bias trader, this is where you cut your trading. This is where you watch because this is head fake out hour for shorts. And this is when they start to give back. This is not rocket science. If you think that's a cool rule, you need to join MIC and what we do daily and the intricacies behind all of this. But let me tell you when I say trading is not easy, but it can be structured and it can be very simple. You just need lines. I don't care how stupid that sounds to you. I don't care how simple that sounds to you. If you don't believe us in the fact that all you need is lines, I, like ask our members who are killing it just using lines and the plethora of testimonial success stories we have every single day because they, they got out of their heads, they stopped overthinking and members said, oh shit, trading actually can be simple. So again, man, what time of the day are you trading? Do you have a process? Are you playing against trend? Are you playing with trend? See, dude, this is all trend intact. This is all trend. I mean, this is zombie. This is just this is just check for check for check of why you should not have shorted anything except past two points. One, my indicator, if you want to do my style, or 11, which is right here, end of day give back time. What do I say every single week, though? I look for the waterfall death candles, and then I at least put on some. Uh, I would have today if I had to locate, and I would have scaled to the top of this. And uh, probably if I hooroo myself to death, probably would have ideally hoped I held some. <laughs> but, dude, under this, I get really excited for tomorrow. If this breaks this level, dude, I'm I, this is a low hanger for tomorrow, man. Like, I'm stoked because here's the thing. While this is kind of day three of the run, it's only day two of the attention that it's on. So people didn't know about it yesterday. So I don't really count that for a low hanger. So in my opinion, today was day one. Tomorrow, I'm going to be looking, depending on where it, you know, it breaks down, I'm going to be looking for outer lines tomorrow. Alex, you want to, you want to pray that we get some locates, bro, for tomorrow? <laughs> it's all process, guys. Every single day is just process. If you are fighting trend, if you are revenge trading, if you are FOMO chasing, if you are, if you are, um, if you are guessing, if you are contrary and against trend, you need MIC in your life. And I'm not even going to be blunt. About, I'm, I'm going to be blunt about that. You need fucking MIC. You need to learn how to trade. If you are the type of trader who's out there and you're like, whatever, dude, 179 a month, they're going to raise prices to 199. I can do this on my own. And then you go out there like a dumbass because you're lazy don't want to learn the real stuff and you try on your own and lose $200. You just lost a whole month of video library you could have watched. Does that make sense? Guys, for $200, you're going to learn how to trade and it's not even $200. Like, dude, this is not a cash grab, man. We give away everything. You are going to freaking learn. Dude, we don't, and we don't upsell shit at MIC, dude. Nothing. We don't have like DVDs for sale once you join. Dude, you're going to get the whole video library minus just a couple boot camp boot camp footage and a couple things that you'll get with annual and lifetime but dude even a monthly you get a shit ton so do you, you know do you want to do this on your own and gamble or do you want to learn how to trade man for people who've been doing it a long time 
I mean, Alex, what'd you do? Alex, what'd you make last month, bro? There's no coincidence that Alex, you know, after many years, even six years in, Alex, what'd you pull in like 70 K? Dude, the point is, is follow traders who know what they're doing, who've been doing it a long time and who are going to guide you and stay safe in the process. It is very hard to do this career on your own, man. It is very fucking hard. Um, but when you get people and mentors and guides and, and learn from people who are doing and doing and doing and have done and have done and have done, it's going to cut your learning curve by thousands of percent, man. So again, you know, again, we do what works and we teach what works. That's the whole point. So, you know, we do what works, man. Uh, does anybody have any kind of closing questions? Is there anything that I missed? Uh, uh, PTI, I'll just go over really quick. It was very simple. I just scalped this all day. Um, but it was, it was really, it was, um, it was not a stock that I was excited about. And you don't use size on something like this. Cause look at this guys. It's really up in trend. It's really up, but I just got a li I, it was really broken down pre-market. It opened up here. I got a little quick scalp. I waited for this into the outer lines right here, the topping action, like I talked about, got a scalp there. And then I waited for all of this during zombie time to go through, got my death candle right here. And then I think I scalped a little bit right here and a little bit right here in this VWAP push. I, I, I literally have it on my IG on my IG stories. You can go to my IG stories and probably see my chart. I literally showed it. But the whole point, guys, is stay safe. You know, if if you're breaking rules, don't break rules. And if you do, like I kind of did today, just go go small with very tight risk. And that I will say. Uh, but do not break rules. Any closing questions, guys? Because I think I talked about everything. So again, you know, I'm looking at this depending on the breakdown for a low hanger tomorrow. Um, I am will definitely be looking at PTI uh, for a not as, kind of a low hanger. I'll just be waiting for much outer lines. Um, TCCO, I, we're probably not going to get the bar on that, which is okay. Uh, but you know, that'll still be on radar and, uh, MYSE just doesn't have enough volume. Like I, this is not a low hanger for tomorrow. This tick, tick, tick bullshit. This is not in play anymore. Uh, th this is no, vo this, look at this. Th here's volume. You want to see what volume looks like? That's volume. You see volume bars here is what are you going to play off tomorrow? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, sure. You can, it's just, it, it's not liquid enough. It's not liquid enough for tomorrow, but these are. These two will be on watch tomorrow and hopefully, you know, we're coming out of a very slow market with, you know, just a bunch of things that died pre-market, a bunch of things that um, just kept fading all day. Now we got some runners, man. And, um, you know, CEI, I actually technically want this to hold up. I really, yeah, yeah, pray it doesn't have an offering without us for sure. I pray this holds up. I want more multi-day runners, man. Why? Because this is going to create liquidity. It's going to create attention. It's going to create sympathy plays. It's going to create more runners. We want this action in small caps, guys. Like, I can't stress this enough, man. You want to see shit like this. If you are a trader who is educated, you know how to stay safe in all this. So you never get scared when this happens, but you get excited. I'm so excited when I see things squeezing. And, um, and really, as, as, as weird as this sounds, I actually love sometimes, I don't like to be a part of it, but I like to see shorts getting squeezed. Unfortunately, that's the name of the game is because now we're going to get these big moves that will catalyst new moves because I know how to stay safe in these. And I pray that all my trading buddies and members do too, but I like to see this kind of volatility. So, and the only way to get these is unfortunately for a lot of, a lot of shorts to get squeezed. Uh, I'm just praying that all of our members and, and educated traders that I know are not the ones getting squeezed, you know, but we need to fuel, to fuel these moves. Uh, yeah. So we need these big moves, man, or small cap land dies out for a little while. Uh, why you short CEI today if it pushes towards 250 today, if you had borrows, uh, right here, man, just death count. That that's my, that's what I go into every day. So Ashbourne, uh, I would have shorted the pop right here and I would have scaled up to here. With a with a risk at like probably two ninety two, that's that's literally the only point I would have shorted, literally the only point. And had I held, I have no idea. Uh, that, I have no idea. I'm not going to be a hoo and say I would have held this shit the fucking one sixty. I have no idea how. I, I might have just nailed the bail. But the point is, is that that's the move I would have grabbed hundred percent. That's why, dude. <laughs> I'll show you real time. Go back. Where where are we? Look at the time. Ten forty four. In main chat, CEI, right here. That's that's 1044. Uh, that's actually, it's 944, but that's that's the same exact time that I alerted this. It's just a different time zone. This is not linked to my mountain time that I just moved. I said, someone find me shares. Oh my God, I have none. I wanted this. I wanted to scale that pop. 
up to here. So again, you just have a process every day. You follow your process. What do you like? What do you not like? Uh, do what works, you know, cut out anything that doesn't. Yeah, it's a joke when eggplant man is trying to get you. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, anybody, last chance for questions. Last chance, any closing questions? I hope this was good today. Uh, I hope you guys got a lot out of this. Again, I try to talk about the most current market conditions, what's going on. Uh, take advantage of our sales right now, annual lifetime discounts. Uh, DM me for any questions. If you have uh, if you want to talk to me over the phone, guys, just DM me your, on social media or in chat your phone number, and I will contact you personally to upgrade or walk you through and everything like that. So if you guys need any help. We're here for you, man. We're here for you. Hands on. This is what Alex and I work so hard every single week, man, to make sure that you guys are up to date, have your resources, and know what the fuck going on. Thanks a lot, guys. I really appreciate it, man. Mize, what's up? Cedric, Matthew. Wong Bo, I hope I said that right. Dino Course, Fabian, I see you guys regularly. Hey, Brandon, what's up, buddy? Mike, Cody, I see all you guys weekly, man. I freaking love it, man. Thank you guys for the support. I love helping you guys as much as I can. Um, I, I hope you guys are learning, man. I really do. Uh, if you guys want me to change it up next week, yo, what's up, Zev? Um, John, uh, Phil, if you guys have any um, – ways you want me to kind of change this up or teach a little differently, or maybe I cover the same thing every week. Uh, just shoot me DMs, man. We're, we're always working on our process. We're always learning, man. So if you guys want more from me or in a different way, um, but this is episode 20, man. Like we've got so many of these episodes that if you guys are watching, then I, I'm sure you're going to understand how we do what we do, man. I really hope you do because uh, yeah. Yeah, John. And that's okay, man. If you got smacked around this week, man, it's, it's all good, man. Just back to basic, back to your process. Cause I know personally, that you do have a process, all you got to do is get back to it. So again, if you, if you, if you break your rules, you know, this week, but you do have a process, just make sure you get back on it, man. Thank you, Gary. Flash, maybe a live level two in tape since the market is open. <laughs> well, I don't, I, I can't trade on this. This is my webinar computer, man. I can't trade. I, I can't even put DOS on here because it's a Mac or I would, I would just, I, I'd probably do live trades, honestly. In fact, I do it on purpose because dude, I'm too focused on the webinar that if I do trade live, I'm going to, I'm going to like, this is going to, this is going to lag so much. And I'm just going to be focused on the trade. I did that like once or twice and I went silent for too long. I purposefully do this on a Mac in another room away from my major setup so I can focus with you guys and cut myself off and not be a dumbass giving back games. <laughs> so no way, dude, I can't put this shit live or I'm just going to trade the whole time. All right. Thanks for, thanks for coming, guys. I'm going to wrap this up. Thanks a lot. And I'll see you next week. Same time. Hey, traders. This is Tosh. I go by tbradley90 in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already. You have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media. You can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T-O-S-H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.